It's just times like this that gets me very frustrated. Very frustrated. This topic is about the Chicago Bulls and one of the worst trades ever in NBA history. Probably the worst trade in NBA history. This is speaking from a Bulls fan perspective. This is by far one of the most unequal trades I've seen. So unfair. So unfair. If you guys don't know, it's been announced today at like 2 o'clock that Derrick Rose has been officially traded to the New York Knicks. For complete trash. Now, no disrespect to the rookie from the Knicks, you know, Robin Lopez and like that other guy. He's nameless because point is those three, no disrespect, are trash. They're not compared to Derrick Rose. Now, Derrick Rose, sure, with the injuries, but first of all, this guy is a former MVP. He was an MVP. He is starting to have some game back. He isn't really injured. He's still getting like 15, 20 points a game, 5 assists, some doubles-doubles this season. Especially if how we played last season, not making the playoffs, which is shocking. Seeing this is very, it's very frustrating. Of the season we had and seeing this in the offseason. And let me just give you a rundown of the lineup. So we have no Derrick Rose. Okay, no Derrick Rose. Jimmy Butler, who knows? Honestly, by the way it's going and how the way we're handling the Bulls management, they need to get fired. Re fire this Bulls management. The GM, fire him. Hire new management because clearly he has no idea what he's doing. He has no idea what he's doing. You don't trade for unequal players. You don't trade a great, used to be superstar, for complete trash players who have always been trash and probably always will be trash. It's unequal. You don't make trades like that. It's common sense. Let's just say, for like NBA 2K, I sell. No. I, let's just say, trade you a, let's just say, I trade you a bronze 60 overall free agent, and you give me the 99 overall Michael Jordan diamond, or the 99 overall Curry. Like, you see, it's like that. It's not equal. It's not, it's not equal on the other side, is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, no Derrick Rose. Jimmy Butler, honestly, by the way it's going, I'm not going to be surprised. I will not be surprised. Next month, I see a notification saying the Bulls lost Jimmy Butler trade to the Bucks or something. The magic. I would not be surprised. I'm kind of expecting it because of how the offseason is going. Okay? So let's just say, no, maybe. Let's just say, no, maybe Jimmy Butler. Maybe. Let's go to Pau Gasol. He's gone. It hasn't been announced yet, but let me think. Let me just give you a rundown. If he was saying he's gone because he's free, he's good, he's a free agent this season, this off season. If he was saying he's leaving with talks of trading Jimmy Butler, and that was a few months ago, when we already officially traded a superstar. Now there's no way he's staying. He's leaving. Who knows where he's gonna go? But he's leaving. So, we have no Pau Gasol, no Derrick Rose, probably no Jimmy Butler. Who is our superstar? Robin Lopez? It's just... It gets me so frustrated because, speaking from a Bulls fan perspective, having s such a horrible season last season, not making the playoffs, and now having to do deal with all this offseason stuff. It's really, really... Frustrating. Video is done. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already before you leave. And if you're a Bulls fan, let me know in the comments section, or not a Bulls fan, or no basketball in general.
Let me know in the comments what you think about this trade. What your reaction is, what your take is.